there you are. Please tell me you saw Star yeah, Trek. I probably got some cold water. Star uh, Trek. Come on. Yeah, Star Trek, dude. Like the new one, Star Trek. It went beyond. Okay, okay I saw it. It was it wasn't beyond. Yeah, it was cool. It was level. It wasn't beyond though. Dude, it was awesome, man. How could you even say that? It's more I mean, like an appetizer. I mean, everyone's waiting on Rogue One. We all know that. Oh this God. is just kind of like, you know, <laughs> just just to keep you going until oh, yeah, oh, How could you even say that? I mean, like, Rogue One, I mean, that's not even part of, like, the main Star Wars line. That's exactly. just like... Exactly. There's so much they can do with the movie. Yeah. There's so many things they can do with this. So I gotta reboot it. Yeah, they gotta explore space, though. It's not even a reboot. Every it's time just... they explore, they get their butt kicked. Yeah, you want to talk about butts getting kicked? Uh, you talk about all these Jedi's getting killed. Jedi's getting killed. Every single time you guys go on exploration, you guys end up dying or crashing the ship or getting a new ship all the time. Yeah, well, take I mean, care of your stuff, man. Okay, I mean, because all you guys, you guys got Spock. I mean, he's strong and all, but yeah. all you guys are really pointy ears and he's starting to not understand like whoa, whoa, whoa. emotions and stuff. Well, talk about not understanding something. You got like some tall, hairy freak, chewy, and you can't like gargle in marbles. Hey, like, well, you'll ah. choke him out though. Yeah, do you want to get the Vulcan grab? I don't think so. Star Star Wars aside, this went beyond. Like Star Trek went beyond. It's it really it, went beyond. Really? Oh, dude, it was amazing. Like the name, really? Oh, well, Star Wars Force Awakens. Uh, I'm waiting to wake up. Yeah. I mean, how many times has a Millennium Falcon been stolen? Been stolen, but it wasn't destroyed though. Oh. He keeps getting it. Yeah, that it's pile insane. of junk. It's no, it doesn't seem like junk to me. It, it handles everything that comes at it. In a race, the Enterprise, the USS Enterprise, can your be the Your shields don't even hold up. What, what are your shields made out of? Plastic? Star Trek? What's so great about that? You guys act like it's so great, but how many captains do you guys need? You guys just kill them all every single episode. Uh, well, I'm sorry that we don't have a good captain, but at least we have some weapons at work. What, fighting around with some flashlights? Is that what you guys got? Oh, flashlights? Oh, yeah. they flashlights now? Okay, now yeah. those are fighting words. Okay. I yeah. can hear you guys from down the hall, man. You guys are kidding me. Star Trek, Star Wars, it's all about space balls. You don't even know. If I had to try to find something about Star Trek or frickin' Star Wars, I would, I'd be like the three guys out in the desert. I'd be like, found anything yet? Not a thing, sir. How about you? Nothing, sir. And they go point to the dude and he's like, man, we ain't found shit. Alright guys, we're back. Break Room Blitz. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Adon. I'm my boy Conj. Hello. Welcome back. I'm glad you guys continue to watch. What do you guys think about our shirts today? Oh yeah. He's the only one really representing. Yeah. yeah. So, but it's okay. Got my Loot Crate shirt. He's a Trekkie, I guess. Quick. What do you got? Deadpool. Spawn? Oh, Deadpool. Deadpool. Alright, yeah. alright, alright. Right. 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 We got our universes uh, aligned. Alright, so today we'll be talking about Star Trek Beyond. Woo! Pretty good movie, right? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I do want to give my condolences to uh, Anton Yelchik. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so great actor. And his family and uh, it's crazy what happened. Unfortunate accident. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was good in this in this movie. Uh, he's so. been great in all the movies that I've seen him in. Right. So want to you know. Give our condolences to yeah. his family and friends. Pay homage. He was right. uh, that fantastic talent. His character too. His character was great. Yeah. Right. All right. So let's get right on in there. Oh. Star Trek Beyond. Yeah, man. Did you guys like it? Oh, I liked it. I enjoyed yeah. it very I much. It. Yeah. I really did. I thought it was good. Uh, mild. Just say good. Very mild. So we're going to leave it at that. Wow. So it's good. <laughs> and me and Don went a little beyond that. Yeah. <laughs> they did. They, 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 they went beyond. Go. There we go. So give a little rundown. It's Star Trek. Mm -hmm. It's part three of the trilogy of yeah. the new reboot. Um, I felt like it kind of lived up to part three. Yeah, it's predecessors. It was definitely up there. See, they are so consistent about these movies that they come out with. They keep the same cast, like the core of right. the cast, oh, yeah. you know? Um, and then, uh, you know, just as far as the story, it's a new story. And they kind of carry along, you know, the, the personalities from what they did in the past movies. Right. I, th I thought it was really good to be like, you know, the 50th year anniversary. Mm -hmm. I thought it was great. You know, it, it, it they did it right. You know, instead of like right, yeah. doing like the 49th or 51st, they did it on the 50th, which made it even better. All right, so it's the third one. They're going where no man's gone before again. I don't know, 14. Yeah. Actually, really, because they went into a nebula, and uh, so that was kind of cool. Yeah, unexplored space, you know? Right. So, I mean, they're coming off of, all, like, all these movies where, like, 
obviously, you know, we have like some kind of catastrophe in every movie, you know. And in this one, it, we definitely had that, but they really took off like kind of like, you know, space explorers. And then, you know, we got a little bit of uh, details of each character. And then we got like the catastrophe, like right in there. Right. So we jump in. Kirk is having some issues as far as wanting to be captain or not. You know, yeah. He's having his doubts and things like that. And then something happens to where he just steps up to the plate and he just finds out this is what I need. This is where I belong. Yeah, this is a they're very, very defining movie for that character to not only be his father, but to go, you know, once again, pun line intended, beyond that. Mm -hmm. Now, did you guys like that uh, plot point where he was really dealing with, you know, some struggles with being the captain? You know, I, I did. did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. If, well, for me, at least, like, I, I thought that it, it was really cool because, you know, in, in these movies, he's doing it as a dare, right? He wants to, like, you know, dare, uh, you know, not like his father was, and he's kind of like walking in the, his father's shoes. Um, but like, he's really thinking to himself, like, what am I actually doing? Do I actually want to go explore? I have really no direction. And you know, he's just like, uh, he doesn't want to lead his crew astray because he does care about them. Right, you know what? It didn't I like, oh, oh, right. it's hard. I felt like that was the defining thing for him though, was he realized at one point, you know, what other captains have failed to realize was, it's not about you and, and you know, just because they always say it's the captain in your ship. But he realized that wasn't what made him. What made him was his crew, and he at the end of the movie they, they really emphasized that, especially with some of the, the dialogue they had him use. So that's one thing I really liked is that's what it should mean. It shouldn't be about you. It should be about the, the cluster that surrounds you that compiles the entire enterprise. That's what it is. Uh, so I did enjoy that. I wish you know for me they didn't really hit it on the nail because I would have liked him to still have that struggle even when there was turmoil. I wanted him to like kind of step back away from the, the chair a little bit and like have Spock make the decision or something like that. Sure. To where you know we're like, well, is he going to be captain or is he not? You know, mm -hmm. I would have really liked him to hit home with that because mm -hmm. it just kind of faded away right away as soon as they said there was someone in need. Yeah. And he was like, oh, all right, I guess I'm the captain, and we never felt any like any more uh, tension in it within itself anymore. Yeah. So right. it was okay. I liked how they started off. How to start off the movie was really good. I was really oh fascinated <laughs> yeah, with yeah. like the visuals and everything. Yeah, it was exciting, right? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. I like the, the story opening that, sequence by you know, far. Like, like hilarious, great. They're still discovering like new yeah. civilizations, really. Yeah, and, and they're actually yeah. just getting back from being out too. So that was, you know. Yeah. And you find out a little bit more about like you know Sulu. You find out a little bit more about his family. You know they they, they praise the the fact that you know they're having a, a, you know a gay character within the film. And that's awesome, you know, they're, they're definitely came to that, so... Did you know that the uh, original guy didn't like that? Oh, really? No, oh, he did not like it because he... Because he felt that it was out of nowhere, and his character wasn't getting in the original one. Yeah. Right. But also, all of a sudden, in the third one, they're going to make him openly gay, which he thought that it meant we were to saying that it was a choice. Because at first, he wasn't. Now he is. But... I'm just, that's just, I'm not here to say what I felt, but <laughs> that's just what, what he said. He didn't really like that they did I can that. see that side of things. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't know that. that. I mean, yeah. it is a change, but I do believe that we're currently in a evolution of cinema where females are taking lead roles. It's becoming a bit more equal, but they're being open about the whole, you know, gays being present. I mean, this is, this is the world we live in, and by not acknowledging that, uh, you know, even blacks in films, we're, we, you know, there are lots coming up, so I'm actually really glad that they're doing this because we're changing it now. There's a change and it's happening and you, you can notice it, which is great. Yeah. yeah. Have it be a great story for what it is and be these characters, you know? We don't need to have like a, you know, a different character for, you know, the, the audience basically, yeah. you know? Just to suit the overall audience, you know? So as a third movie, third installment, yeah. just as a movie, mm -hmm. did it live up to your expectations? Uh, you That's know, a complete what, movie. I, I was completely surprised, and so I, I was kind of going in there with, uh, you know, some expectations. You know, I saw the um, uh, first one and the second one over the weekend before I actually went and saw this one here. Right. So I was kind of caught up, and I was off of that momentum because the first one was great, and I kind of considered the second one to be uh, just that top notch. Yeah, that's my favorite one too. Me too, and and I don't know. I, I think. What do you think about um, yeah, the first you know, and second? I, I definitely like them. This movie did stand great on its own. It didn't um, reach a peak for me because it was it was a, it was a good movie. It was a very good movie, but it didn't like. I felt like it, it, it. The movies have gone up, and this one, you know, maybe just got a little bit up, a little, kind of a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And um, I was hoping for a, a bit more of a, you know, like 
boom moment, but I know they're going to be making more. So yeah, I feel that coming along that they're going to make a that couple more. That would have like a wow factor. Like, now oh my it, gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah, we didn't really but get when that. It comes to that yeah. That's why I'm just like, oh, it was good. We're right here. You but know. when you really think about it, with a, a lot of these movies that they uh, create, you know, trilogies and sagas, you know, like a lot of movies, at once you get the original that really stands out, and then you get that second one that kind of like, you know, starts whittling away, and by the third one, we're pretty much done. Yeah. Um, I mean, consistent. like some, some movies, it's like hit and miss. I mean, Terminator 2, kind of like, that was the one to beat, you know? Yeah. And so it was like, oh, oh, and then we got this peak. And different movies yeah. do do that, have effect, you know? But uh, typically, it's hard to get over that classic one. This You're one, right. it was on par with what we yeah. have. It was consistent. I was definitely happy with it. Yeah. So, as a sci-fi movie, where would you guys say this like ranks for you in like your Ooh. best sci-fi list? Best Is it up there, top oh, five? Man, or... you're, you're jumping on that train. Oh Yo, yes, I am. Huh. It's yeah. 2016, man. They're doing bigger and better things. Well, I was talking, well, because when you say sci-fi movie, I'm thinking of like my history of sci-fi now. Right. Yeah. yeah. Are we talking about current sci-fi? No, just I'm overall. About in general. Overall, just overall I don't know. Of all you've seen, yeah. was it that good? Is it a classic? Is it like you know? I think uh, uh, for this new generation, show? yeah, no, definitely. You yeah. know, buy it. You know, I have the Blu-rays one and two. This is definitely going to be on that you know list of I want to pop this in. I want to watch it. You know, it's like I can. See I love the story. If I were to say 15, 20 years from now, can I see myself saying, you know what? I just feel like watching that trilogy again. I couldn't honestly say I'd probably do it. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah definitely. Yeah. Like, I want to watch a good space movie, you yeah. know. And when I think about space movies, automatically the first thing that comes to mind is Star Wars. And I, I mean, even for me, like uh, this is like, like kind of like it had that Avatar esque where they were like in yeah. a like like crazy looking yeah. planet the, with the like visuals. Vi yeah, the oh. visuals, very vivid the colors. The visuals are really good. Yeah, the details that they they put in because it was because you know they're they're on Earth, of course. Right. But they made the details of. The, the background and the foreground where they were mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. much to where we thought like man look at that tree like oh my gosh don't touch that right there because like, you might get poisoned like, yeah. like it's right. actually alive the details they put you know? into it made you feel like you, they weren't really yeah. right here on earth the environment yeah. really set the scene for right. it and that's something like, I definitely yeah. appreciate too is it, it, it stands out as a different universe it does yeah so like you know if you watch Star, Star Trek you get a feel for it I'm sorry Star Wars you get a feel for it. Oh, you guys are gonna kill me for mixing those two up. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I almost did right now. Oh, no, don't do it! Don't do it! I was, it was just star, star. Oh, that's crap. That's shame. Um, so uh, I love, I love all of them equally. Oh, no, I like Star Wars more. Man, we really got. Here we go. Here we go. All right, but um, anyway, yeah, this definitely sets itself apart as a unique. It, it, it's its unique movie. It's its unique story. But you know, yeah. I feel like there's no need to be either a Star Wars fan or a Trekkie. No, I feel no. like. We can we can have both. Absolutely, yeah. we can have the more realistic, futuristic, yeah. and then we can have a fantasy. Yeah, there's a, with that? there's a fantasy, yeah. futuristic, sci-fi side, and then this one's just like you know the Earth, like you know years in the future. Right, it's you futuristic. know, and it's, it's just possible. Like, yeah, yeah. You know? it's okay. We can like both. You guys can you guys can you, like both. There's equally. no need to fight. <laughs> yeah, you know, even though we're about to fight on the skit. Yeah. You don't we not we don't really feel that way. Right. Yeah. I like both. Anyone that's coming out, I'm going to go see. Yeah. Either way. So what are some of your favorite parts of the movie? Uh, you know what? It, when I'm thinking about the movie, I'm thinking about that intro and that intro was awesome. You know, and and, and all of these Star Trek yeah. movies, we always have like that opening intro that's like, okay, action adventure, you know. And this one, you know, they're like meeting a new civilization, kind of like putting themselves out there, oh, and like these little creatures oh, little that were creatures. there, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and they, they kind of trick you, you know, they pan the camera on oh, these creatures, they and they're talking, right? Yeah. right? I thought they were going to be these massive things, and Those you know, like, what do you want? Right. Yeah. He's like, I just want to give you some peace, yeah, it's, so, it's, I'm it's, like, I just want to give you this, a peace what offering. is that? Yeah. <laughs> so, you want us to kill it? Where did you get it? It's an ancient weapon. You stole <laughs> yeah. right. What's wrong with it? Why do you want to give it to me? <laughs> I'm like, dang. <laughs> they gave him you want to kill us in our sleep? See, like, <laughs> how did we get there? <laughs> Just escalated rather quickly. <laughs> that was yeah. so funny. I absolutely yeah. love that. And I they thought rolled down those creatures like, were, were cute and like packed a punch and they, they were cool, just, man. Like they're little Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Low Pokemon. Low Pokemon. Got to catch up in their oh, eyes. Wait, wait, hold on, wait. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Details in their eyes is really, really oh, yeah. cool, you know, yeah. when, when they're getting all hyped up. Where'd you get it? 
But you stole it! <laughs> like, like, he really <laughs> felt like they were trying to oh, yeah. capture them or something. Yeah. Swindle us. Right. Yeah, yeah. So that was really good. That yeah. was... That Probably one of my favorite standout parts. Part. Yeah. Uh, another standout part for me was like uh, when they uh, so they they go into space and they're going home and they're at the space station and this space station was really awesome. I mean, it, it what it was it was like rings on rings and like each ring had a layer of like a city, so it was like flat land but right. went in circle. Yorktown, exactly. It was called Yorktown yeah. and it was uh, encased in this bubble, so it was like a bubble shield. And what it really reminded me of, if you guys ever played like Mass Effect, it really reminded me of like a Mass Effect kind of futuristic world where it was kind of Earth, kind of futuristic. And I just thought I had never seen anything like that. And so when they arrived, and it was just like that, that, that really stood out for me. I I'm love that. You, I'm glad you brought that up, actually. Yeah. What about you? Um, you know, those, uh, actually, I'm glad I got my hero to villain complex in this movie. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I definitely, definitely look for, especially in a movie like this. Um, but I really felt like the villain in this movie, um, you know, just meant to do what he wanted to do. And, um, I, you know, I, I, I feel he could have gotten more vicious, mm -hmm. but there's points in the movie where you just felt the rage, and he just he just did. And I, I really appreciated that. So I really liked, I liked that a lot. And I also liked the new character, Jala. She, she was a great addition, and she was just a lot of fun. Yeah. And, uh, um, you know, her and uh, Simon Pegg together... Uh, Scotty, Scotty, yeah, you know, like that, that was a lot of fun. Their little ventures, I, I, I was really happy to see the little minor ventures, right? Yeah, the teams, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna have to piggyback off yours. Okay, because yeah. they were they were my favorite part. I was like, I feel like I was the only one just rolling in the beginning of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> it was I'm like, I'm like the loudest one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go with that one, and then uh, just to not copy off of yours, I'm gonna go with the. Uh, fight the power scene when they're playing the music. Fight the power. Yeah. Uh, he's like, what is this? Yeah, that oh, was music. Classical music. music. Oh, right, right. And they call it classical. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. Yeah, that was that was probably one of my favorite parts. And it, it was it was fun. You know, I think the movie was fun. It was fun. Yeah, definitely. Um, it didn't they didn't take itself too serious. It has you know? it serious moments when it needed to, and then it kind of broke the ice with like kind of satirical. You know. Yeah. So there was some. Uh, uh, appropriate uh, points of comedy throughout. And right. then you the got soundtrack to... was very good on this film. The soundtrack very was diverse. awesome. It was awesome. Love it. Now you guys say this is a dope movie. Yeah. Awesome movie. Was there anything you didn't like about it? Uh, you know what? When I think about like the things that I didn't like, um, you know, like it, uh, they okay, so they crash land after being like ultimately attacked by um, the the bad guy. And I think it took a little bit too long uh, for everybody to get a group together, like to find the rest of the crew. And that's where kind of like the pacing, I think it should have just picked up because like when the action was going down and when the villain was actually coming and like boarding the ship, it was chaos. And I was like, yes, keep going fast, you know, just like fast paced, nail them, you know, like rip them apart and let's get this show rolling. And then finally, they crash and it just kind of slowed down a little bit after that. But that that was my only gripe. Everything else was pretty much, you know, paced really well. Edited was awesome. Like, yeah. Editing was good. This movie definitely didn't feel like I was being tossed around like some of the other movies we've been watching all year so mm -hmm. far. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But as far as things that I didn't like, you know, I actually want to let you go on it specifically because what I'm going to say is what you brought up and I felt that since you were the one that initially said it, um, you should be the one to bring it up. I, I'll touch on it lightly, but I will agree that the whole hive thing has been done in quite a few movies. Oh, yeah. And um, so, I, I, you know, just to kind of, um, you know, I, I like... Add more, go ahead. You yeah. can use it. Go okay, ahead. it's... it's it's. So, <clears throat> I, 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 li I like to think that at this point in time, we can get away from the typical methods of creating, you know, an arch rival. You know, instead mm -hmm. of using this arsenal of uh, you know a hive it's always a beehive there's always a queen there's always this if you stop this then it kills them all you know i like yeah. the uniqueness because that that literally tells me if there's only one solidified good character as a villain in this entire movie and the rest of them are just sheep and that really <laughs> bothers me because i'm just like at that point you know you don't have any you you have to have on the villain side yeah. that badass pilot that's like I don't need to be in a hive. <laughs> you know? Right. Yeah, yeah, so right. That, I think that 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 would def that definitely caught me. Outside of that, it didn't bother me as much as you know an apprentice that it did. But <laughs> I did. I, that, that, I, that would be the only thing I would say. I just nah. Good. Yeah, I would have to agree with that one for sure. I didn't like that. It was kind of a cop out. 
Um, I think we need to end it strong mm -hmm. and not as weak as that. Maybe don't have a million uh, pilots or a million bad guys coming at you at one time. Sure. Yeah. Because now what are you, what are you going to do? Uh, let's just kill one and then the rest will die. Yeah. That's like, oh, well, maybe you just, you just bit off too much. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think they should stop that. We have enough of that. Yeah. You know, yeah. Be, try to be creative. Yeah. Just think a little bit when you write. And that don't do the whole queen hive thing. Yeah. Because yeah. even bees work on their own. Right. Yeah. You know, they're not killed a queen and that was all just die instantly. So what do we do? You know, <laughs> you know eventually they will, but it's not instant. You sure. know, so, um, you know, some things I didn't like. Um, first of all, we just can't seem to get a black man on the Starship Enterprise. Uh, that does bother oh. me. And the only way we got him in the movie, he had to be a bad guy. So yeah. I, I always see myself as a bad guy. You know what, that, that, that really surprised me, too, because the whole time, you know, I thought he was a complete alien. You yeah. Know? I knew it. I knew it. I said it. I didn't know exactly when, that but was I, I did twist. call it, though. I was like, did you? Yeah. I was like, oh, that's Idris Elba. So oh, my he's God. He's going to turn to Idris Elba. I, know, I had no clue. I, I, was, he just I was kept clueless. I was like, man, what happened to the makeup? Makeup doesn't look as good. And you was like, oh, well, he changed himself. And then as soon as I heard Idris Elba, I was like, oh, no. That's what, that's what he's going to turn into. So what I didn't like about it was that it was predictable. I already knew oh, what man. he was going to actually do and what was about to happen. I think it should have kept him as a uh, lizard-looking villain and not to yeah. turn, turn back into um, an actual man. Because yeah. I would have liked to know, since he, on the video he says, oh, they, there's this people, we, they have these powers so I can live forever, prolonged life. Mm -hmm. So how'd you get that? Did you steal it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, did you know you're coming to kill us? <laughs> right, like, did you steal that? Just give it to you out of nowhere? Like, where did you, what happened? How'd you get this? Like, yeah, they right. just say, you know what? You want to live longer? Here you go. Yeah. Like, that doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, sure there were some that. things that I just yeah. didn't like that just, that they didn't connect well. Okay. Um, like, because I felt like in the beginning, maybe I'm wrong because I only saw it once. In the beginning, when they're scanning the planet, they're saying, oh, there's no life on the planet, and there's mostly they, water. That's right. I'm like, well, how are we landing then? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Is there a sister planet that we're about to go on yeah. to? I was like, I could have swore he just said that. But maybe I'm wrong. Don't quote me. But I feel like that's what happened. And then all of a sudden, there's I, land, and there's people I there. think what, what it was, was that it was, like, pretty much all a device trap, too, because... Uh, I mean, we had I'll a lot of... That. I'll go with that. The, 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 the terrain was everything, you know, the terrain was kind of sketchy because even when they were on the planet, they couldn't scan to find their crew. They had a hard time finding the crew. Okay, I and mean... That, and that's when, I, I don't know if you remember... assumption, but all right. You know, uh, the doctor or one of them brings up, uh, I think it was Spock uh, that brought up that, oh, I gave uh, Captain Uhura a necklace. He's like, wait, you, you gave me a tracker? A tracker, <laughs> like, we, we could pinpoint that because it has a little bit of radiation. <laughs> that's one of my favorite parts. Too. Yeah, that was, funny, that, that, was, that was cool. So I, I think that was kind of like their um, uh, bounce back, their recovery from, like, you know, kind of messing up that whole plot point. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Overall, I, and they did like I said, those things, those minor things, definitely didn't bother me during the film. Um, I got lost more in the movie, but the the whole um, transforming and becoming the human, I was a little sad about that. But mm -hmm. I'm glad they didn't go the way I thought they were going to go because I was predicting it. I, I, once I so once I, I saw her I'm looking at the screen, I'm all, yeah. oh, you're doing that. Uh, and then at the end, when you know, I was I was expecting him to. To transform back into the, the good solid man he was, you know, back right. in the day. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm kind of glad they didn't go that route. I right. think he was definitely conflicted once no he became oh, yeah. himself. Mm -hmm. You know, like, man, do I really have the resolve to do this still? Mm -hmm. I felt like I saw that in his eyes. I, I, I did get a, a feel for that. And, like, when he was actually going through, like, his final plan and, like, he was in the city, uh, I thought he was going to actually stop himself. But he kept going through with it. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, but I was at like, this time, you, yeah, you're, you're already, villain. like, there. You're like, what are you going to do, just stop? I right. mean, you're already there. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, another thing I didn't like about it was, apparently they give these pieces of a weapon mm -hmm. as a, a peace offering. Right. But he only needed one piece to have the mass weapon. I'm like, well, I thought there was a bunch of pieces. You only need one piece? No, so, uh, they actually clipped this. There was uh, three pieces total. Uh, they broke it in half and then took the heart out. He says that in the movie. And um, he, sp he spent his lifetime looking for those pieces. So he found the other two. He needed the last piece, and, and found out that the Enterprise had it. Oh, okay. I guess I would. Yeah. I would like to know what. The yeah, I didn't catch that. I, I, was I, it just the ring that he put it, it in? It was the ring. I'm, I'm figuring. You think about it because he says he broke it and took out the heart. So I'm figuring they broke that, right. took out the heart piece, and then split these two up and, and got rid of everything. Mm, okay. See, I feel like I have another assumption. 
And I would I want to make it clear. I don't want to like have yeah. these arguments. And I'm not really. I'm like I don't really know. They didn't, they didn't really say it. <laughs> I, mean, I want to have a solid argument. Like no, because they showed it. And I was, but I can't do that. And so it's hard for me. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to go with that. But okay, I'll, I'll let that one go. You know, I actually know that they brought that up. The weapon too. Um, it was it was redundant to the hive. Yeah, it was another hive esque yeah. weapon, right? So I was like, I was kind of, that was the other thing that bothered me too. Was I was just like, so you're redundant in, in what this is because you basically, if you think about it now, yeah, you didn't even need that weapon because you had a larger version of it. Right, like, right. You know, right, so yeah. just. At that point, that that that, that was definitely me. redundant. Dang. Yeah, I yeah. didn't think about they that. They doubled up on that. Yeah, <laughs> I thought about that last night after we left, and I'm like, yeah, it was kind of the same thing though. Like, Very parasitic, right? Yeah. Where you got like this, like kind of like you know swarm. And it's like it was a bio weapon. I didn't really understand what that meant because I felt like it wasn't like they were breathing it and then would die. It was just kind of like ripping off their skin or whatever. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, they uh, uh, even like they're like nanobots to me than than a bio weapon. Exactly. But... And 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 when they got shot, when they were boarding them and they got shot, the doctor he he was kind of looking at one of the bodies and it was in him and it was kind of eating away from the inside kind of you know hmm, so, i thought that was from just the weapon that they had the weapon yeah that are like the, the the lasers that they had that they had right yeah the, yeah the ones that they already had so i hmm. mean they kind of doubled up on it is what i'm saying like you know they they, they had like this ultimate weapon but they already had kind of like this Same ultimate weapon yeah, yeah. So. But overall, we liked it. I well, liked yeah, it. I really cool. liked it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are just little nitpicks. At yeah. that point, we're just finding stuff. We're just giving <laughs> you something to talk about. Yeah, I, I have to. <laughs> I have to be a critic about it. You know, it's like I, I, I'm going to catch some of these things. Right. So Definitely. I mean, as far as like the the villain goes, uh, I like the way that these villains came out. They were armored out. They looked like Halo troopers. And yeah, I like those little creatures that they had. It was like cute little Pokemon. <laughs> Definitely, so we might get a Pokemon movie. I guess. Yeah. I mean, I would like it as long as it's not Americanized. No. But Let's get some uh, diversity. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, for sure, especially Brock. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I digress. <laughs> all right, so let's do a uh, let's do our blitz actually Ooh, all right quick oh. rundown i know we gotta get that blitz in there though <laughs> yeah. what you guys thought 30 minutes 30 seconds to a minute yeah all right. right yeah uh so i mean the one thing that i really liked was it stayed consistent this was a trilogy movie it felt like a trilogy i got more character background these characters are developing we got Captain Kirk. He's like, I don't know if I want to be Captain. Spock was like, you know, I got to, like, continue my race to go. And then, you know, they get thrown in this mesh. And then they really realize, you know, okay, I ultimately do want to be a captain. You know, exploring is what I do. And I got, you know, a bunch of people to take care of. So I really love that character development. The visuals were really nice. The new director, Ricky, that did, like, this whole Fast and the Furious he did really well, you know. It like was his first uh, sci-fi movie. Mm -hmm. it, 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 he did really well. I mean, he paid homage. It, it stayed on point to what these other movies were. Yeah. So, I mean, a, as it is, I got to give it a high rank. Um, if I had to score it, um, you know, 1 out of 10, I would really have to give it like an 8. It's up there. It's up there. Okay. All right. All right, so uh, I got my hero to villain complex. That's always the first thing I look for is, is did you give me a, a compelling villain to go ahead and, and almost root for for the most part and feel for him? And you gave me that. Um, there's a couple of the tidbits that threw me off of the, the hive thing. It, that actually kind of, it, it knocks down points for me with the hive. Um, the characters were great. I love the idea of unity. We need to get more black characters in there. We, we, have, we had uh, just the, the female black character and then we had the, you know, the, the transformed villain. Um, and you know, I'm glad we got the the, the gay in there, and, and we're collaborating in a, in a, a universe of film now. So I'm liking the diversity. Um, story was good. It wasn't it broken. I didn't feel jumped around. You're looking at. I'm gonna say I'll give it an eight too. I was between yeah. seven point five and eight. It's gonna get an eight for me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right. Well, um, um, I like the movie. I want to say I like the movie. I thought the story was pretty solid. Pretty. Uh, it was kind of. It wasn't too uh, extravagant. I would have liked a little more like wow factor, um, but it was still a solid movie. I wasn't like what, you know, I wasn't like disappointed, yeah. wasn't confused, you know. So I still liked it. I would have liked you know more um, of like Kirk because in in the originals Kirk, he actually fights a lot. He yes. fights a lot of aliens. Mm -hmm. This one he wasn't really fighting. He was more running. He was more Just chasing. You know, distracting. Yeah. Um, I would have definitely wanted to see more of uh, Spock fighting for sure. Oh, and he's the strongest one on the, on the ship. Yeah. So I want to see him, but he, yeah. he wasn't there. So that kind of took off some points. 
Um, but I did like the new girl. Um, I thought she was really Joel good. Was great. Was a really good right. addition. Uh, I think that she should be in the next one for sure. Yeah, she, was she doesn't really have any kid, family, but, so you might as well. Oh, you yeah, know. definitely pick a part of the crew now. She's definitely, and she has she has some uh, mechanical uh, skills or whatnot, so she can definitely help out uh, a, uh, Scotty. Scotty. Well, I mean um, camouflage. I mean, she, this girl's a camouflage and booby trap fiend, mm -hmm. like. She's right. a survivor. Right. They, sure. need they, they need her. They need her. Those phaser guns are not, not, not working too well. Yeah. Almost zip my uh, stone to kill. Right. They need that killer instinct going on. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, but so there were some things I didn't like, but overall, I think I'm going to have to give it a seven. It wasn't a great movie, it was just good. I like the second one better. I but, do like it better. Um, I wouldn't give this one a seven. I would probably watch it again. Um, but on download, though. I don't think I'm going to get the Blu ray. Okay. I'm okay with that. Um, but yeah, I think that's I think that's what I'm gonna give it seven. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, so what do you got next week? week? Oh, oh. So next week uh, we got uh, Jason Bourne. Oh, Ooh. sweet. Nice. Jason Bourne Part Ten. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Like ten years from now, we're like we'll be like Spaceballs. Rocky Five Thousand. <laughs> right. All right, guys. We're out. Break room blitz. I'm the Anthony. Adan. Live long and prosper. And we're out. Oh, I didn't do it right. Did I do it right? Oh, that's what no, you did it right. wrong. Yeah, yeah. two fingers, yeah. Oh, well. Bye. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm piecing this again. I think I got it. You got it? Yeah, I think I got it. I think I know what spirit animal I want to be. Spirit animals again? Yeah, man. <laughs> you keep bringing this up. But have you ever thought about it? Like, what spirit animal you would want to be? Fine. We can talk about your spirit animal. Yeah, man. If I was a spirit animal, I would probably be... Sexy Black Panther. Me, I come in peace. You know what, dude? If they're bing, bang, boom, fine, I'm phoning home. I'd be like, welcome to Earth. Come on, baby. <laughs>